Welcome to Berkeley in California Memorial Stadium where this crowd has been in since early in the day saying you know it, you tell the story, you tell the whole world that this is fair territory. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game as we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes, taking on a team from the ACC, the California Golden Bears. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Golden Bears will okay. kick it away to start. Returner's going to try to see what he can get. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. On first down, here comes this offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Fires to the big fella. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. To the air, it's McNamara. Quickly out to the tight end. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. The Hawkeyes will hustle to the line. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. And the Hawkeyes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Looking for more room. Inside the 30. The 10. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Golden Bears. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. And the extra point is good. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Iowa has the ball back on offense. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Back to throw. It's McNamara. Right down the middle. Makes the grab, and he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Running back searching for a hole. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. We've got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route. Against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. 
Makes the tackle right at the 21-yard line. Pickup of 10 on the play, and this offense is threatening with a first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. And he'll pick up a few yards before he's dragged down, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter. With the score, Cal, 7, Iowa, 0. They'll try to open this quarter by sticking it in the end zone here. Wide receiver coming across in motion. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. They're going to pass on what would figure to be an easy three points and instead go for it on fourth down. Now the play fake. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. The defense. Big time on the fourth down play. Trying to get the stop, making sure he doesn't get a first down. The fumble, it's just the icing on the Sunday. That's fine. We can, we'll take it. But more importantly, they got the big stop and turnover on downs. Really needed a play like that to get out of their own end. They move the chains. They mark it at the 29. When you're on offense, you see so much of this nowadays. You see misdirection. You see somebody flying across the formation. Why? To get the eyeballs of those linebackers, to get them to move out of a gap one space. Works to perfection here. That's why they break off the big game on offense. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. There's a lot of different ways this offense can attack and throw in the ball. One of them is getting the running back going, and the screen is a great way to get him lathered up and get the defense starting to think about him a little bit more now. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running down the hill and making a tackle. And here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw. It's Rodgers scrambling away. He's going to run it. And they're able to make the tackle. And the Golden Bears in the hurry up. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick them up and put them down, and I'm faster than most of your other guys, too, so good luck stopping. Well, two things I love by the quarterback on that play. One, his ability to flush outside the pocket and make a quick decision. No one's open, and I'm taking off and running. And two, get out of bounds. No need to take a big hit. Just save yourself, save the body. Fresh set of downs coming up. Well done. I want to make sure I know where the playmakers are. And I can't let guys like this guy slip out of the backfield and make big plays against me. Good job being aware that they can throw the ball to the running back, closing space, and getting that fast dude on the ground. Leaves it with the running back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. The quarterback scrambled around, but the defense able to scramble him and turn it into a sack. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit. They were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack.
This is an opportunity to show your offense you believe in them. Their opening drive of the game, still in their own territory, going for it on fourth down. And they gambled in their own end, and now they give up really good field position. Well, I knew the coach was confident in his offense. I did not know he was that confident this early in the game. Fourth and long. I thought he'd just punt that one away and let his defense take the field. Interesting. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Got him downfield. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads it left. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And they make the play to stop the scoring opportunity just before the end of the half. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. To the air on first down. He's taking the shot. Oh, picked off. And that's why as quarterbacks, you cannot telegraph the pass. You cannot stare down your receivers because these defenders, they're watching it. And that defender knew exactly where the QB was going with that football, and that's why he picked it off. Inside 10 seconds to go in the half clock reads nine. It is first and 10. To throw, it's McNamara. Looking for a deep man. And it's picked off for the third time today. And they get the takeaway and prevent points from going up just before the end of the half. Well, that's the second pick in as many series now for this quarterback. But, David, I, I love the defense right now and the way they're reading and reacting to all these route concepts. I mean, they are all over these guys on the back end. All over the field, making plays. Listen, you're, you're supposed to see the quarterback break on the football. You've seen several breaks on the football. Your job is to know what the offense does really, really well. And you can tell this defense is dialed in, and they'll know exactly what this offense wants to accomplish. He's looking deep. Intercepted. And he gets the interception and finally run out of bounds. And that's how we'll wrap up the first half. The the Hawkeyes will kick it away to crank up the second half. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Cal offense is headed back onto the field. As they get ready to start this third quarter, think how big the lead might be if they'd taken care of the ball. Well, the game might be over, Reese, but if you're on defense right... And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. I think going into halftime trailing, this defense knew that they were going to have to start making plays here in the second half. And early in the third quarter here on this drive, they get a sack. That is really good news for this defense. Get it out on the screen. They'll mark him down right there. Good pickup, but still a little bit short of the first down. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle, and this offense generates a massive play. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. This could absolutely spin this game in another direction. They're going for it inside their own 30. Still running up the 40. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They were willing to spin that wheel of fortune in their own territory, and it paid off. And it came up good. <laughs> I mean, I think 
You see the aggressiveness by these offenses now willing to go for it on their own territory, and I like it because they got it. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They. He's going to let it go. He caught it. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. And the offense didn't need to accept the penalty thanks to that big play. And the defense is just about out of room to defend. They are backed up right on the doorstep. Barrels ahead. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Cal! The offense strikes again to extend its lead here in the second half. And they got everything working. How great is this? You extend your lead. Now you get your defense back on the field. Great job taking advantage of the situation and building on that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. An 84-yard drive there. And they capped it off with a one-yard punt. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Iowa has the ball back on offense. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to pay. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely different. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Here comes the offense on second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Here comes the speed on the jet sweep. I love when you run this play because it forces the defense to react. Do you want to spin a safety down? Somebody better keep contain. Very hard to defend the jet sweep. It's a very good play, especially when you got somebody with speed taking that handoff. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. And the Hawkeyes want to pick up the tempo. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Caught in the backfield, it's Johnson. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the corner. He's looking to pass. Moves away as he feels pressure. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. I like the offensive idea here to try to change the launch point of the QB, but you got to do a better job protecting him because guys can't complete passes when they're... Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. A big turnover here for the defense to end the quarter. First down to start the drive after the break. The handoff keep working on that clock. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, they've got the lead. The defense just did their part, getting a takeaway. So now if you're on offense, you want to run the ball and take as much time as possible between snaps. Stay in bounds and let this clock tick away. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. 
These situations are preached so much in college football. Finishing a game strong, understanding circumstances, they are running the football right at you, trying to keep that clock moving. Get a few first downs and get a W. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Easy. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We reach the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. The Golden Bears have their offense in high gear. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The defense really gets it. They understand what's going on. The quarterback is a threat to run the football. I have to understand that. It changes the way I play defense. Am I going to have more speed on the field? Whatever I do, i got to make sure I do what they did right there. Focus in on the QB. He's going for a big play downfield. And they can't hook up. Going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. And you've seen this formula work at all levels of football. You pressure the quarterback. His numbers start to drop. He's not as efficient. Nice job by the defense. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Getting some heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And the Golden Bears racing to the line in the hurry up. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Here comes the offense on first down. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback, and now you throw another one you know, in harm's way. you got to make sure you throw to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turning. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Throws to the wideout. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. On fourth down, looking to pass. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. They'll throw it on first down. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. He makes the connection. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. This defense has been lights out, stubborn on the doorstep. Can the offense finally find the end zone? From the gun, wants to pass. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's cut. Looking to throw. He makes a grab. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, we've got a chance at a finish. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. They're sending out the regular kickoff unit. I know they've got a couple of timeouts, but I don't think there's enough time on the clock to pass on the onside kick. On the run from inside his own five. 
And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Kick returns just have to do a better job of knowing where they are on the field and what the situation is. That's a ball you got to let go through the end zone. That's a touchback. Instead, you're trying to be the hero, and now you've done yourself more harm than good. The offense starting in terrible field position. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. Trying to make magic with his feet. Timeout is called by the defense, a mere 21 seconds to go here. You see a lot of quarterbacks get in trouble when they start forcing things. He did a really good job. He wanted to throw the football. You could tell drops back, nothing open. It's okay. I'm just going to take off, get what I can get. And it's taken away by the defense, and they desperately needed that turnover. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Iowa! This guy really is the complete linebacker. Not only is he physical, and not only can he play downhill to stop the run, this guy is a weapon in pass coverage. You saw it on that play. What can't this guy do? Listen to this crowd. Absolutely going nuts, trying to will their defense to stop the two. Dropping back, it's McNamara. He's got it. The two-point try is good, and we are tied here in the fourth. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. He'll bring it back from inside the 15. He's going to get loose. He will score. Touchdown, Golden Bear. And that is exactly what you want from this offense. Take almost all the clock, execute, and now go out and take a lead by a touchdown. Great, flawless execution by this offense. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. Plays like that can just shoot energy through your team. The kickoff return for 89 yards and the score. And as the ball makes its way into the end zone, it'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Trying to find his man on first down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Got it in stride inside the 20. They make the stop, but that's going to do it here as time has expired, and that'll just serve to pad the stats. It's one thing to execute early in the game. Tight ball game, right at the end. You need the clutch plays. These guys deliver. And you can't teach that gene. You have people that, that, that can focus in the moment or they can't.